This is something called a testo. A testo, and it's a flat iron that you heat over a gas flame, get it hot, and then you make individual rounds. You bake them individually on the testo. It is very similar to another bread that we've done on the series. If you remember when we, when we made the uh, torta su testo from Umbria, this is very similar to that. These breads, the piadine, are eaten with cold cuts like mortadella, culatello, local salame, cheeses, olives. And when you think about it, if you go back in history, these flat breads that have just a little leavening in them were the original dishes. This was a plate. This is what people ate off of, a flat piece of bread. OK, how's it looking? All right. All right, so what we have to do is move all this out of the way. So we're preheating some of these now on the stove. Let me feel that. A wee bit of flour, he says. All right, so to do that, we're going to put a wee bit of flour right there. You see, I'm hardly touching it. Hardly. I'm using this part of my hand. I'm hardly touching it. If you flatten it, you can't go anywhere. You want it to roll with you. Okay, try one more time. That's it. That's better. That's better. All right, so we're going to cut these up. Then you take your pin, roll it into about or oh, five or six inch diameter, and it doesn't have to be perfectly round. So you see, we turn it over, and you want all those little brown crispy marks because that's what gives good flavor, but you got to watch this. So you want to put this on a medium, medium high heat. No, I mean medium heat, not medium high heat. Medium heat. And you bake these. Now when you get really adept at this, and if you, have a, if you happen to have a testo, you can put two of them on at one time. But uh, I wouldn't recommend it in the beginning if you're just starting out, you know, do one at a time. The idea is that you want to make sure that both the top and the bottom uh, is co it's cooked through. And that's why you roll them thin, because they're going to cook very quickly. Take it off, let it cool, and then this is served as an antipasto, covered with some cured meats or some uh, cheese.